Question 20. Structural isomerism and stereoisomerism should be considered when answering this question. How many isomers with the formula C5H10 have structures that involve pi bonding? Okay, now first we've got to get to grips with what the question is really asking. Okay, now it's, it's mentioning pi bonding here, and that's giving you a very important bit of information, because it basically means if you're talking about something that involves pi bonding, you're talking about something that involves a double or triple bond, okay? Remembering your pi bond is your second or subsequent bonds, okay? So this C5H10 here, we're dealing with uh, versions of the alkene pentene, okay? So I think to save myself time, I'm not going to draw out all the structural isomers. isomers. I'll try to find a link. Okay, so here we go. I found the five different structural ice isomers. Okay, now they are, we've got here two isomers that are um, position isomers. In other words, you've got the functional group in different points in this straight chain. Okay, and then we've got these types of isomers would be known as chain isomers because you've got a changing of the branching in the chain. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five so far. But there is going to be a six isomer here, and that will be a stereo isomer, one of our cis trans isomers. So the answer is going to be six, and I'll just quickly show you which one is going to be the stereo isomer. So pent 2 en is going to have cis trans versions of uh, of itself, okay? Now these are optical isomers. Now it's a, is a cheat really if you're not quite sure which ones are going to form cis trans isomers it's quite straightforward really you just got to make sure that when you look at the carbons involved in the double bond you've got to make sure that the things attached to it are different on both sides okay so for example here i've got a hydrogen and i've got a methyl group attached to that carbon okay so those two things are different on this side i've got a hydrogen and i've got an ethyl group attached to that carbon in the double bond so both those things are different now obviously if you've got two things that are different those things can be switched remember there is no free rotation about this double bond so this is going to have a cis trans Form, okay, Where, why is pentuanine not going to have one? Well, because on this carbon in the double bond, you've got two of the same thing, so it's not possible, okay? In other words, you can't have your cis trans. Why won't 2 methyl but 2 en have a cis trans version? Well, because it's got a, uh, a methyl and a methyl group on that carbon there, okay? So they're both the same, so it's not going to have a cis trans version. OK, why does this not have? Well, because it's got a hydrogen there and a hydrogen there. They're both the same. So there's no cis trans. Same here. Hydrogen, hydrogen, no cis trans. So the only one that's going to have cis trans form are the ones that have got essentially this kind of formation. OK, uh, you've got basically something different on your four four things that attach to your two carbons that are double bonded together, okay? So you could think of it as having A and B and C and D, or you could think of it as having A and B and A and B, but basically the two things on either side must be different or you can't have cis trans, cis -trans isomers.